Hi everyone, on this channel I create videos packed with lots of great information. This video is the second in a new series about using Microsoft Excel. So if you'd like to learn more about Excel, subscribe to my channel. Sometimes I get a list of names that are formatted such that there's a first name, a space, and then the last name. And that's fine, but sometimes I want to sort the names by last name, and it's difficult to do when they're formatted like that. So I'm going to teach you how to take the list of names, separate it out between the first name and the last name, and then put it back together such that we have the last name, a comma, and then the first name. Let's get started by highlighting the names of the people. We're going to visit the Data tab, and then we're going to select Text to Columns. When Excel looks at our data, it can automatically determine that between the words there's a space. So by default, in this situation, it's going to select Delimited. So at this point, let's just click Next. At this point, we need to tell it how are those words separated. By default, Excel believes it's separated by a tab. Let's turn that off and click on Space. You can see now a preview of how our data is going to be separated into two different columns. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and click Next. When Excel looks at those original names, and then it creates a column for the first name and a separate column for the last name, it's going to format each column as general data. And that's fine, but we could change it to text because that's what it is. And in some situations, that might be helpful. The last thing that we need to do is tell Excel where to create those two new columns. I already have column names listed, so I want it to paste these two new columns starting at cell C2. So I'm going to come over here and type in C2. Now let's say Finish. So Excel did exactly what we wanted it to do. It took the person's name and it separated it out into the first name and the last name. Now what we want to do is put it together so that we have the last name, a comma, and then the first name. To do that, we're going to use the concatenate command. Every command begins with an equal sign. I want to start typing concatenate. There are actually two function names that work exactly the same. There's concatenate, and then there's also a shortened version of that name, concat. We'll use that. So we type in that function name, and I open up these parentheses. At this point, Excel wants to know what text is going to come first. We want to have the last name first. And the last name for this particular person is in cell D2. So I'm going to type in D2. Now I'm going to put in a comma. Now Excel wants to know what text should come next. And what we want next is a comma. So we want the person's last name and a comma. And the way that I tell Excel to put in a comma, to put in this piece of text, I first need to put it in quotes. I type in my comma and I close the quote. Now I'm going to put in a comma because I want to tell it what other text to add. So follow along with me here. See it in your head. We're going to have a last name, a comma, and then we need a space. The way that we're going to tell Excel to put a space is again by opening up our parentheses, putting in a space, and then closing our parentheses. And now I need to put in another comma to tell it what other text I want to add. Well, the only other text that I want to add right now is the person's first name and the person's first name is listed in cell C2. So I'm going to type in C2. At this point, I think I have everything that I need, so I'm going to close my parentheses and hit Enter. Now that we're happy with the format, we can take that cell, move over to the autofill handlebar, click, and then autofill down. Now everybody's name is formatted the way we want it. If you click on one of these cells, you'll notice that the cell is actually created based on this formula. Sometimes people want to work with a cell that actually has the text in it and the text alone. So there's an easy way to handle that. I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to create a new column that I'll just call name. Now I'm going to highlight those names and I'm going to copy them. I like to hit control C to copy. I'm going to move over where I want those names to be. And I want to have the names, the actual names in terms of text. So I'm going to come to where it says paste and I'm going to tell it to paste the values. So I'm going to click right there. Now if I click on one of these cells, when you look at the formula bar, you see it actually shows the person's name, not the formula. So at this point, really easily, if I'd like to sort those names by last name, I can do it very simply. So I'm going to make sure I'm at that Data tab. I'm going to click on Sort. 
sort by name, click OK, and now I'm able to sort those names by last name. And that's exactly what I wanted to be able to do from the very beginning. You can use basic Excel functions to do some really cool and really powerful things. So spend some time playing with Excel. And check back with this channel because I'll be posting more Excel tutorials. If you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.